Many online sellers are curious about handling multiple seller accounts on popular e-commerce platforms like Amazon. Now the idea of having several accounts can seem very promising, but it also raises questions about how practical and feasible it really is. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patil, product evangelist at SellerApp and today I will provide you with a clear understanding of all the possibilities and limitations of managing multiple Amazon seller accounts. Well, here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to Seller Apps so you don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. Let's get started. Amazon is quite strict with its accounts and stores because it wants to focus on offering great products and experiences. They don't really like the idea of sellers having, you know, multiple accounts. This is because having many accounts can make it hard for them to improve their products and services. When shoppers look for things they want to buy, they prefer seeing products with accurate pictures and information. If there are too many accounts, it can make the shopping experience less enjoyable. Amazon spends a lot of time reviewing the accounts. Having multiple accounts might help sellers, but it also means more work for Amazon to check them all. Now you might be wondering if you can have more than one Amazon seller account. Well, Amazon says that if you have a legitimate business need, you can have multiple accounts without needing their permission. But you need to have a great track record with no suspensions. Amazon doesn't really explain what they mean by a legitimate business need. Based on what I know, Having a legitimate business need means uh, things like if you own different brands under the same company and each brand operates separately, if you make products for you know two different business entities, to see if your current seller account is in good shape, according to Amazon standards, go to account health in the performance section, you'll see an account health rating with three bars, good, at risk and critical. So to maintain a good standing with Amazon, you should aim to meet or exceed these particular targets. Keep your order defect rate below 1%, ensure your uh, you know late shipment rate is under 4%, maintain a valid tracking rate below 95%. Keep your pre-fulfillment cancellation rate under 2.5%. Moving on, when should you consider having multiple Amazon seller accounts? Well, here are some good reasons. If you own different brands and run separate businesses for each of them, if you make uh, products for two completely different companies, if you get invited to join a special Amazon program that requires separate accounts. Please remember that when you are considering setting up uh, multiple accounts, you need to use a different address, email, phone number, and IP address for each one. Now let's talk about how to create multiple Amazon seller accounts. We'll start with the first one. Get your registration materials ready. You'll need a business license. To operate your store, you must have a valid business license and uh, you know follow all the rules. For the preparation materials, you only need to provide a clear color scan of the original business license. Make sure the expiration date is visible and it should be valid for at least 60 days from the current date. You'll also need your corporate identity card. When you register, you must use the identity information from uh, you know, the business license. It should be within its validity period and you need to provide both sides of the card. Have a credit card and a debit uh, account ready. Credit cards are used for payments and receiving money. It's a good idea to use a credit card that supports uh, foreign currency transactions like Visa. 
Make sure the card is active and has a balance. Your receiving account uh, should also support a foreign currency transfers. Keep in mind that different payment service providers might have different exchange rates, so choose the one that uh, works the best for you. Get your account information ready. The uh, you know you should have at least one email address for registration and communication with Amazon. Additionally, you'll need a corporate and company phone numbers that Amazon can use to reach out to you. Second is setting up your Amazon seller account. Now that you have got all your information ready, let's walk you through the process of creating your first Amazon seller account. Don't worry, it's quite straightforward. Just follow these steps. It guides you, uh, you know, through the official website. You'll be asked for your name, email address, password. Remember to use capital letters for the first letter and other details. Here's the breakdown. Start by entering your name, email address and other necessary information to create your new account. Fill in your company's location and business name ensuring that the information matches provide details about the legal person and beneficiary and choose your desired site for account setup enter your credit card number its expiration date cardholder's name and even the billing address pick a name for your store and it's recommended to be english go through the tax audit and enter your receivables account details Next is step three, there's creating multiple Amazon seller accounts. Before you open a second Amazon seller account, make sure to follow this checklist. Only list products that are different from what you have on your current Amazon seller account. Use a separate bank account and credit card for the new account. Utilize different contact information, including a unique email address and the phone number. Create a distinct website and domain for your new brand. To open an additional Amazon seller account, simply sign up for a new account on the Seller Central. It's worth noting that opening multiple seller accounts on Amazon has become way easier since the company updated its seller policy in April 2020. Amazon now allows sellers to create new accounts without prior approval. However, it's a good idea to, you know, inform Amazon in advance to avoid potential issues. To request Amazon's permission for the multiple seller accounts, log into your existing account and navigate to help, get support, selling on Amazon. Now in the describe your issue box, uh, explain your business needs for a second account. Amazon will typically respond within one to three business days with a set of questions to assess the validity of your business needs. They might ask for information like your expected monthly sales, then the warehouse location and the number of employees you have. When responding, try to be more optimistic uh, about your estimated sales and maintain a positive tone. For sellers dealing with a multiple Amazon selling accounts, uh, keep track of keyword insights, listing page quality, and advertising effectiveness can be challenging. If you sell in various regions, you can benefit from the seller app platform to efficiently manage and expand your Amazon business. The seller app dashboard supports Amazon Marketplace in over 18 countries. Alternatively, you can use a third-party tool like SellerApp to streamline the management of multiple Amazon seller accounts. Well, this tool assists you in monitoring your sales, profit, insights, and inventory forecasts. To sync your Amazon Seller Central account with SellerApp's dashboard, follow these steps. Log into the SellerApp dashboard. You can connect your Seller Central account in two ways. Firstly, you can navigate to the Seller App homepage and click the Connect Now button, uh, which will take you to the Sales Feature option. Alternatively, you can directly access the Sales option from the left side menu and find the Connect Now button. Click on it. Upon clicking on it, you will be redirected to the Amazon Seller Central login page. Enter your credentials here. After logging in, uh, provide authorization to Seller App. Once the authorization is granted, your Amazon Seller Central account will be linked with SellerApp. 
You'll then return to Celerap where your account data will sync with the Amazon, uh, you know, Celerap platform. With your data synced, you can start analyzing it using the platform. Do you find it challenging to handle more than one Amazon Seller Central account effectively? Don't worry, I have got some helpful tips for you. Use multiple computers or browsers. This is a traditional approach that works well but can be quite cumbersome. It involves having a separate computer for each Amazon account. While it's effective, not everyone has the space and resources for multiple computers. This method is best suited for those with just a couple of Amazon Seller Central accounts. Utilize plugins. Another option is to use uh, browser plugins designed for account management. You can find solutions by searching for keywords like account in your browser's extension store. However, Plugins are essentially programs that may not be ideal for the large scale use. Try a virtual browser. So virtual browsers might be the solution you have been looking for. These browsers leverage a virtual technology to create thousands of unique virtual computers for Amazon sellers. Not only does this save you the trouble of owning numerous physical computers, but it also offers additional benefits. These services are closely tied to the security of your Amazon seller accounts. Many individuals with multiple Amazon seller accounts face the problem of being banned or losing the multiple stores simultaneously. So in some cases, it's due to accounts being linked. Uh, virtual browsers come equipped with tools to manage this issue, ensuring the security of your accounts. Third-party sellers play a significant role in Amazon's success, accounting for a whipping 58% of its sales. The underlines the uh, you know, benefits these sellers gain from Amazon's vast market exposure and trading tools. If you are an Amazon seller considering the expansion of your online business with multiple seller accounts, here's what you stand to gain. Expand sales across regions. In traditional businesses, selling in different regions or continents involves uh, setting up physical presences or additional online stores. This can be costly and complicated. With multiple Amazon seller accounts, you can reach various regions effortlessly. Each region can have its own seller account, allowing your business to grow within an established customer base. Next is becoming a versatile seller. If you sell a wide range of product categories, having multiple Amazon seller accounts uh, is a fantastic way to enhance your business. Selling diverse product categories is one thing, but being uh, recognized for your versatility is another. Separate seller accounts for each category can streamline your efforts and prevent customer confusion. Increasing revenue and in earnings Owning multiple seller accounts means you spread your business investments thinly. Instead of reinvesting your profits into a single store, you'll do the same for each seller account. Although uh, returns might start small, they will grow significantly over time, boosting your monthly earnings and revenue. Next is lowering business risk. Relying on a single Amazon seller account can be risky. Unexpected issues can lead to suspensions or even permanent bans. Multiple accounts act as a safety net. If one faces trouble, the others continue operating, reducing the risk of losing your entire business. Adapting to different business models. Multiple seller accounts let you transition between various business models. For instance, if you initially operate a B2C model and want to add a B2B model without conflict, you can open a separate seller account for the new venture. Expanding market reach. Multiple Amazon seller accounts allow you to expand your merchant store, reaching diverse customers in different regions. This can lead to higher profits by adjusting prices based on the original demand. For instance, if a product you sell for $50 is in higher demand in one region, you can reach a new account 
for that new account uh, for the region and increase the price for maximum profit. This approach helps you identify and meet customer needs across various regions, boosting your sales. While there are many advantages to owning multiple Amazon seller accounts, it's essential to be aware of the challenges that come with it. Here are some of the disadvantages of having multiple Amazon seller accounts. First, time consuming. Managing multiple Amazon seller accounts can be very beneficial, but it can also be quite time consuming. Running even a single account takes time and adding more accounts to the mix can be overwhelming, especially if you have time constraints. Despite the potential for increased sales and profits, juggling multiple accounts can stretch your time and resources. Not guaranteed profit. Uh, simply having multiple Amazon storefronts doesn't automatically translate to increased profits. If owning multiple accounts isn't necessary or doesn't align with your business operations, it may become a liability rather than a source of profit. There's a risk of incurring losses due to insufficient time for monitoring or making poor decisions. Splitting your time between multiple seller accounts could also negatively impact some of them, leading to neglect and ultimately the need uh, to close an account. Risk of account suspension, creating a second Amazon seller account without proper authorization poses a uh, risk of account suspension. Some sellers may choose the illegal route uh, because of Amazon's strict policies on multiple accounts. Even when applying for a second seller account legally, uh, the process can take several weeks or even months. Operating multiple seller accounts without following the rules could lead to account uh, detection and blocking, causing significant setbacks for your business. Human errors? Managing multiple Amazon accounts means dividing your time and attention among them. This naturally increases the likelihood of human errors. You might forget to update your product listings, resulting in order uh, of you know, out-of-stock items or overlook addition, uh, adding the new products to your inventory. Mistakes can happen because after all, we are only human. If you run a dropshipping business, you might consider uh, using an automated dropshipping solution to help manage the multiple accounts efficiently. In any case, to make the most of multiple seller accounts, you'll need to learn how to handle them to minimize the risks and maximize the returns. Amazon strongly encourages sellers to maintain a single seller account and closing a seller account that can be a strict process. To close your store, you must meet these particular requirements. Your account should have a clean record. It must be in a good standing. A uh, closure shouldn't be due to being selected for account review. There should be no record of complaints against your account. Your account should not have any associations with other accounts. If your account meets these conditions, you can proceed to contact the seller support and choose to close your account. Be sure to review the reason for closure carefully and rec you'll receive an official notification once it's done. So opening multiple seller accounts on Amazon can be an excellent strategy for boosting your e-commerce sales. The platform offers a wealth of tools and resources to support your business along with a vast market waiting to be explored. However, it's carefully, uh, you know, consider uh, the, whether this approach suits your business model before diving in. Managing multiple storefronts can be challenging, so make sure it's the right fit for your operation. Additionally, uh, always seek permission from Amazon before creating additional accounts. Failing to do so can result in losing all the business associated with the new accounts. Remember, launching multiple Amazon seller accounts is just the beginning of your journey. The real work lies ahead with dedication and effort. The potential for growth is boundless. If you need any assistance, SellerUp team is always here to guide you and support you at support at sellerup.com. And that's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to SellerUp. 
Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topics. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we will definitely create them for you. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. And as always, happy selling!